Scouts, welcome to week 10 of your personal fitness merit badge. So, this week's going to run a little bit differently. What I want you guys to do is I'm going to give you a homework assignment. Oh no, the homework, the terrible thing. But it's an easy homework assignment. So for the past nine weeks, I have been giving you programming on workouts, warm-ups, and nutrition goals and all that. But this week, I want you guys to make your own program, your own workout schedule for this week. And I want it focusing on legs, core, and arms. So what you're going to do, basically you're going to write your workout, you're going to do the workout, and you're going to send it to whoever your personal fitness merit badge counselor is. So before I let you guys go, what I want you to, what I wanted us to do is to walk around my gym that I have, that I do all my videos here, and show you pieces of equipment that I have here that you'll probably see in other gyms. So starting off with the main thing that usually every gym should have, if not, they will have it. So this is a whiteboard, we all know what it is. You'll write your programming on that, do sketches, and everything, so you can write your workout, your walk, your workout, and your nutrition goals on it. Then, moving this way, we have the bench. I use this for bench press and uh, box squats, just because this is below parallel. I have everything stored on my wall, so I have more floor space. Then, this is a piece of cardio equipment called a rower. The way that the rower works is just like you would be on uh, one of those crew boats, about, you would pull it like you're rowing, and it would work your heart rate, get your cardio up, all that. Then, moving over here, what we have over here is a um, punching bag and my old training bar. Um, I used this when I was six or seven, maybe. Um, but, moving this way, we have the garage door. Uh, we all know this area. This is where we do all our demos. This is where we have the weird people show up and do the demos. Then we have the assault bike. Um, this is from Assault Fitness. Basically how this works is you would ride it just like a bike, um, except the arms move, and it would be another cardio equipment. We have three things of cardio, cardio machines in this area. So, moving this way, I have all of my plates stored here neatly, where it's 45s, 15 kilo, 10 kilo, 35s, 25s, 15s, 5 kilos, and 10 pound plates, and then my change plates, 5 pounds and 2.5 and pounds. Then moving here is my rig. Um, I can basically do, use these J cups to put bars on. I have some safety. Um, if I drop a bar, if I'm doing box squats, I can't bail, so I basically bail onto these. And then up there, I have my pull-up bar. We all know what those are. Pull-up bars, you can get those in many shapes and sizes to fit door frames. If you want something like this, like a rig, you can do that. And then going inside the rig, we have rings. I usually see these in gymnastics. Um, but you can do dips, muscle-ups, skin the cats, all sorts of different things. And then moving here, we have our barbells. I have four different types of barbells, including the one in that corner. I have a 45 pound barbell, a bamboo barbell. Um, this basically works shoulders and core because instead of putting regular plates on the ends like these ones, you actually have to use resistance bands and those things will kind of just flop around and you would put dumbbells or kettlebells under them and the bar would shake and you would have to be able to hold it still while you're doing any movement. And then here we have our uh, 35 pound barbell and holding it is a nice bar, bar rack that I got from Rogue. And then here we have my weighted vest. This is a 20 pound weighted vest. Um, I use this in different workouts specifically the Murph workout, if you don't know what that is, search it up and there will be a whole backstory on it about Michael Murphy. And then 
So, moving on to this area right here. Right here, we have a pulley system. And on this pulley system, we have a 10 pound plate and a lat pull down um, kind of mounting bracket. So basically how this would work, just like a regular lat pull down, you'd pull from above to your chest and you could add weights to more weight to get a little bit more of a workout. And then here, not a lot of people know what this is, but I'll tell you, let you in on a little secret. This is called a pegboard. The way the pegboards work is you would have pegs or dowels and you would climb yourself up like Spider-Man and bring yourself back down. Um, it's a very taxing workout, works grip, um, arm strength, core, basically works your entire body and you get really tired after doing these. But moving on, we have some chains um, in these boxes, some change plates for dumbbells and barbells, and then a sand dune stepper. Um, I won't get into the specifics on how this works, but basically you would have um, your bare feet on these and it would actually, it doesn't look like it would give you a workout. Let me tell you, it gives you a workout. This is great for hiking. Um, but yeah, and then moving on to the glute hamstring developer, or in short, the GHD. Basically how the GHD works is there are hundreds of different movements you can do on this, but the three main ones are the back extension, the hip extension, and the GHD sit-up. Um, so the, we all know the sit-ups, except on this, you get way more range of motion instead of just going to here. You go all the way down to like a 90 degree. Pretty cool. Uh, doing GHD sit-ups on there, quite the ab workout. And then I have pictures of friends that I um, did weightlifting with when I did weightlifting. And moving on to probably the best piece of equipment in here um, for the sports that I play is called, this thing is called the reverse hyper. The way the reverse hyper works is you would lie your stomach on this plateau, the top of this, like a table, and then you would have your legs and hips kind of dangling down here, and all you would do is you would bring your legs up where you're um, parallel with the floor, and then you would come back down. And then with this, you're gonna add weight to it with this strap and some 25s or whatever weight you want and you would basically bring that up. This works your lower back in giving you a stronger spine. But moving on from the reverse hyper is the last and final bit of the cardio equipment in here. Remember, we have three things. This is the third. This is called the skier. The way that the skier works is you would have, um, if, any of, if any of you guys have done skiing, um, you would stand on it like such. You would grab these uh, kind of alien green handles and you would pull down just like you were skiing. This is another cardio thing to get your heart rate up, to get your blood flowing, all that. I use this in a lot of my warm-ups. And then moving on to the well, the most well-known bit of equipment is the dumbbells and the kettlebells. See, we all know the dumbbells from everyone doing curls on the internet. But there is a lot more movements that you can do with dumbbells other than curls. So, um, those are dumbbells, most well known. And then kettlebells. Um, not a lot of people, I would say, know what a kettlebell is. Um, if you say the name, if you actually give them an image, they know what it is. Um, basically with this, you can do kettlebell swings. And also, a farmer's carry, where you would have two of these. You would walk around and would focus on your core, so you wouldn't be slouching, you wouldn't be like this, you would be straight up and down. And then, moving on from all this, we are back to famous whiteboard. We also have some boxes down here to do box jumps, um, box squats, anything that requires a box, you can do that there. But, we also have the newest bit of equipment in the gym. This is called a training mask. Um, 
the way that the training mast works is it's meant for a lot of high altitudes. Um, so if you are, say, going to Colorado, where there's, it's 10,000 feet above sea level, um, when I went there, I was winded. Whew. Was that hard to breathe? And this basically brings Colorado right to your doorstep. The way that this works is you would put it on, like such, and you would breathe in, and you can adjust the difficulty of each breath. Um, so your lungs would actually have to work more in um, breathing. I know, suffocating yourself, no. But it does work. Um, when I go to Philmont, I will use this to um, get myself ready for those high altitudes because you get winded really fast when there's less oxygen because on the east coast we're kind of right at sea level. And also with this, you sound like Darth Vader. It's pretty cool. So that is all I have for um, the most famous gym equipment that you would see in most gyms, if not every gym. But Remember your homework assignment, make your own workout plan, send it to your uh, personal fitness merit badge counselor, focusing on legs, core, and arms. So, like always, have fun and work out.